Hi everyone, Rich Crescenti here with another in our series of videos making music with Melodyne. And today we're going to be focusing again on the tight integration between Studio One and Melodyne. Now, if you watched the previous video that I made, you saw we used these two programs in conjunction to extrapolate a tempo map from a piece of audio. In that case, I was given a song to mix that was recorded to a click track, but I didn't have the tempo, and because it was played by people, it had a slightly variable tempo all the way through. So what we did in that case was we examined and analyzed the left overhead, right? We chose that track because it is rhythmic and because it goes all the way through the whole song. And then we took that tempo map from that track and dragged it up into the song in Studio One. And then we had a tempo mapped perfectly to our audio. And we could use that for syncing up time-based effects. We could use that for virtual instruments to make sure that they play perfectly alongside our human instruments as well. Now today, we're going to be focusing on something a little bit different. Today, we're going to be working on manipulating the tempo of a live band. So we start with the exact same place. I have still figured out the tempo map according to the left overhead. And now what we need to do is we need to take that tempo map and apply it to every single other track that we have. And this is key. You want to apply this to every clip of audio that you have right there. And this will ensure that all of the audio stretches or shrinks appropriately. And that's what we're focusing on today is making sure that we can stretch this audio or quantize this audio or alter the audio that we've been given. Now, a quick pro tip to start this off, you're going to want to make sure in Melodyne to change your algorithm to universal. So you can come down to set default to universal. Universal is the best and fastest for time stretching, especially if you have multiple types of audio, right? We have rhythmic drum tracks, we have polyphonic guitar tracks, we have monophonic vocal tracks. So universal is going to be your best option here. And in my opinion, the time stretching algorithm within Melodyne is better than a lot of the other ones that are out there. It's my favorite one. Okay, so let's talk about how to do this, right? Once we've set our algorithm to universal, we want to make sure that all of our audio is selected. So I'm going to come to Studio One and drag over this to make sure that every single clip is selected in here. We want to do this because we want this tempo map to be applied to all tracks. Now in Melodyne and Studio One, the way they work together, this is super easy. I can just hit Command M. And what this will do is then apply Melodyne to every single one of these tracks. Now this and a few other things we're going to do today are going to take a few seconds, right? Because in this case, Melodyne is analyzing 24 tracks of audio. And you'll see the same thing later when we do some time stretching. But let's take a look at what's going on right here. Now, as we look at all of the tracks that are available in here, they all have Melodyne on. And you'll see that there is a tempo. And not only is there a tempo, but there's a tempo in brackets right here. And this is telling you the difference between what Melodyne thinks is the tempo and what Studio One thinks is. Now, in this case, there's a little dash in between right there, and that's because Melanine thinks some of these other tracks have a different tempo. There's a lap steel that was played without any rhythm really at all, or at least rhythmic possibilities, like according to the song. There is some guitar tracks that are played a little differently and have some big gaps in them. So Melodyne is saying not all of these tracks are at this exact tempo of this left overhead track right here. And this is where, again, Melodyne tells you what's going on. You see this flashing button right here. This flashing button always tells you that something needs to be taken care of. So what we want to do is take the tempo map that we got from our left overhead and apply it to every single other track. So we're going to come down here and click on this and say, copy song tempo to those 24 files. And what that does is takes, again, it takes that tempo map and applies it to all of the tracks. So now all of the tracks that we have will be using the exact same tempo map. This is key for making sure that they all stretch and shrink equally. Okay, now that that is done, you see we got one number here, there's no brackets, Melodyne agrees all the way around that this is the tempo of the song. Once that is done, the next step that we want to take, and this is another big important one right here, is to make sure that all of your tracks will stretch in regards to the audio. Now, in Studio One, there's a few different ways that tracks will follow tempo, right? We've got don't follow, which is where the audio or MIDI won't move to tempo changes. We've got follow, which is where the beginning of the audio clip or 
mini clip will follow along with time changes. Or we've got time stretch, which is where the audio will stretch out according to those. And that's what we want. We want to make sure that all of these tracks are set to time stretch. This is key to making sure that they will all react to the way that we want them to. Okay, so now we've got this same tempo map applied to every track. They're all set to time stretch. Now we can go in and manipulate this audio any way we see fit, right? Let's give this a listen right here, just starting from the beginning of the chorus, and you'll see how the click follows along perfectly with the audio. Okay, great. That click lines up perfectly with the audio. Now what we can do if we want is manipulate that audio and change the click along with it, making sure that we can change this however we want. So let me give you a good example of how I like to do things, right? Sometimes if I feel like this song needs a little excitement at the chorus, what I will do is select from the beginning of the chorus to the end of the chorus. In this case, it's bar 21 to bar 28. And then I will just drag that tempo of those up just a little bit right there. I'm gonna drag the tempo of that up to just to make it a little obvious, I'll drag it up to 97, drag it up maybe a little further than I might normally. Now this will take a few seconds because again, what Melodyne has to do here is time stretch all of the audio that we've got inside there. But now if we come to a little earlier in the song and we listen, we will hear this song speed up the way we want to. And I want you to notice that this is also, we didn't just set it to one tempo. We have kept this human variation within that chorus. So even though the chorus is faster, it still has slight human variations within there. So it's just like the whole band decided to speed up a little bit. Let's give it a listen. and then we dropped right back down to the previous tempo afterwards. Okay, so this is great for adding a little excitement to choruses. Uh, this is also great for maybe you've got music set to a, a movie that you were working on and you've received a new cut of the movie that has a scene edited out or edited a little shorter or a little longer. You can now make that portion of the music stretch to that new portion of the scene if you wanted to. So lots of flexibility in here. Another thing you might want to do is take this human performance and quantize it entirely. So in that case, what I might do, let's say I wanted the tempo of the entire song to be 94 BPM, right? I might come to these last two and click on that and hit 94 and enter that in there and come to this tempo dot that is right before it and click on it. And I'm going to enter in 94 for this tempo as well. And once we've got that set, right? Once I have those two dots set at 94, what I can very easily do is just take this one and drag it out. And bring this all the way to the beginning of the song. And it'll take a little bit here while it's thinking about it. So I'm gonna set this to 94 all the way across. And now what we've got is this tempo across the entire song has been quantized and evened out. So when we drop in right at bar 17 right here, just like we did before, drop this in, we press play, and we should now hear this consistent all the way through without those tempo changes, right? We've quantized this and evened this out. Let's give this a listen. All right, in that case, we saw a couple of minor variations right there, and that may be because I didn't put this one right at 94. So I'll put this one at 94 and hit enter. And now what we get is. Perfectly at 94, 
throughout the entire song. So we've seen a few different ways to manipulate the actual tempo of a pre-recorded band today. Very, very cool stuff. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks. <laughs>